Hi, my name is Stephanie Jenkins, and I am one of the leaders here at Harvest Worship Center. And I had a devotion that was God-inspired probably about a week ago. And um, essentially, he just spoke to my heart and, and was talking about seasons of life and what that actually means to me. And so I just first want to thank you for allowing me the opportunity to come and share this devotion with you. Um, I pray that it, it speaks to your heart the same as it spoke to mine. And so to get started, I've never done anything like this, and so I just want God to calm my nerves and to allow me to, to use this time to be an instrument for Him. So I'm going to pray over this time together, and if you would just join me with, with prayer. Dear Gracious and Heavenly Father, God, I thank you. I thank you for your word. I thank you for its life. I thank you, God, for your presence and for your anointing. And I pray, dear God, that, that you would take these words and that you would bless them, Lord. And I pray, dear God, that, that they do not fall on deaf ears, Lord Jesus, but that they speak to the hearts that you have chosen to receive this word. Dear God, I praise you and I thank you and I give all praise, honor, and glory in Jesus' name. And so, like I said, the title of this devotion is Seasons. And so, what season are you in? Seasons are meant to transition and prepare us for the season to come. Oftentimes, we find ourselves stuck in a season without the proper necessities to help us to transition. Let me explain. Figuratively, you would not wear a bathing suit in the middle of a winter snowstorm. If you would, those consequences may be a little detrimental to you physically. Um, it just wouldn't make sense. As crazy as that sounds, sometimes we live our lives like this. We get stuck in a season and we don't have the proper necessities. We are often stuck in the seasons of experiences from years ago. Life seasons can be situations that you've experienced they can be situations that you've not let go of. For example, it could be that you've gone through a church division. Maybe you've gone through a failed friendship or fr failed marriage or relationships. It may be that you've experienced a loss of a job or rejection. It may be that you've been deceived by someone very close to you. You fill in the blank. Those are all seasons in life that we are meant to transition through, but we oftentimes find ourselves stuck. The scripture that I will be referencing is found in Ecclesiastes chapter 3. And I will be using the New Living Translation, so you can follow along with me if you would like. But I'm going to read from the Word. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verses 1 through 15 says, For everything there is a season, a time for every activity under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to harvest, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build up, a time to cry and a time to laugh, a time to grieve and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather stones, a time to embrace and a time to turn away, a time to search and a time to quit searching, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to mend, a time to be quiet and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. What do people really get for all their hard work? I have seen the burden God has placed on us all, yet God has made everything beautiful for its own time. He has planted eternity in the human heart, but even so, people cannot see the whole scope of God's work from beginning to end. So I concluded there is nothing better than to be happy and enjoy ourselves as long as we can. And people should eat and drink and enjoy the fruits of their labor, for these are gifts from God. And I know that whatever God has done is final. Nothing can be added to or taken away from it. God's purpose is that people should fear Him. What is happening now has happened before, and what will happen in the future has happened before because God makes the same things happen over and over again. And so when I was reading that, that just truly struck out to me um, as to a lot of things that we've been experiencing, not only um, during the last three months, but just in life in general. 
this scripture refers to all of the seasons that we all experience in life, but never once does it say that you should stay stuck in that season. It states that the season in life will happen over and over again. It says plainly in Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 1, For everything there is a season, a time for every activity under heaven. A season is not meant to last forever, despite the fact that some people would love to have fall weather all year round. Personally, for me, I would love to have summer in the beach all year round. A season is meant to transition. Everything that happens in your life is happening in seasons. And I don't know who this is meant for, but you need to know that it was never meant for you to transi transition this season in life alone isolated or feeling defeated. God gave you the scriptures so that you would know that He is with you and will transition through these seasons in life with you, but you have to allow Him. You have to open your heart and your mind to receive His love, His peace, His comfort, and direction. This season in your life will transition into the next, but you have to be willing to transition with it. Too many times, People try to hold on to the past, and God is saying that there are brighter days ahead. There are new hopes, new beginnings, new adventures, new opportunities, new love, and a new season. Another key point in our scripture says there is a time to plant and a time to harvest. So many Christians, churches, youth groups, small group ministries, feel disconnected from one another because of the ways that we've had to minister. But I feel that this has been our season of planting. This is a season in life where more people are connecting into faith-based social media platforms than ever before. Church, this is the season to plant and nurture the love of Jesus with everyone around us. If you tend to what you plant with hope, peace, forgiveness, and love, then in the transitioning season, you will see a harvest that is redeemed, restored, and returning to the Lord. Continue to plant in this season because the harvest season is coming very soon. Another key point in verse 4 is that there is a time to cry and a time to laugh, a time to grieve and a time to dance. Each of us can name several people, including yourself, that are actively going through or experiencing this season right now. Crying, loss, sadness, grieving is such an overwhelming and life-altering season that seems to go on forever for some. This season, if you are not careful, you can trap yourself, you can transform yourself, and you can torment yourself. During this season, you need to turn to God more than ever. Psalms 34, 18 says that the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. God is our hope and comfort during times of sorrow. If you are struggling through this season or feel trapped, please know that you do not have to suffer this season alone. We are here for you at Harvest Worship Center. Or if you have a home church, reach out to your pastor, your youth leader, your small group leader, and let us help you with the love of Jesus to transition through this season in your life. There are two more key points that stood out to me in our scripture in verses 5 and 6 that read, A time to embrace and a time to turn away. A time to search and a time to quit searching. A time to keep and a time to throw away. I know that I have seen quite a few people post that they are doing a closet clean out or a garage clean out, purging seasonal stuff, etc. I was thinking to myself that sometimes we should purge and get rid of the unhealthy, sinful, destructive, addictive, manipulative things that build up in our own personal lives. Sometimes that may mean letting go of destructive relationships or friendships. Purging the music that takes you to a dark place. Regaining control over what you use or what you do to cope with fears or anxieties or loneliness or depression. This season of your life, if you, trans if you transition through it with Christ, will bring you great freedom. 
it will bring you peace and hope for your future. Verse 11 says, God has made everything beautiful in its own time. The season of life that you are in at this very moment is unique to you. This season in your life is very important to God because He wholeheartedly loves you. And He sees the whole scope of your life from beginning to end. His one desire is for you to seek Him, find Him, and transition through these seasons with Him. Because with Him, all things are possible. My challenge for you is to ask yourself, what season of life are you in? Are you stuck in that season? And have you asked God to help you transition through this season? If you do not know the answers to these questions, I urge you to turn to God in prayer. Ask Him to lead you, to guide you, and direct you in all areas and in all seasons of your life. Thank you for allowing me to share this word with you. God laid it on my heart. I know that it spoke to me, and I pray that it speaks to you. And I ask that God bless you and keep you as you transition through the next season of life.